Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date, reference 15000 in stainless steel. You can see this vintage Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full commercial listing for this watch with additional high-resolution images, accessories included with the sale, and of course, complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the date has always been something of a little brother to the date just. 34 millimeters across the round of the case rather than the date just's 36. That's not inclusive of the crown. Now the watch is kind of squat and thick thanks to its vintage style acrylic or plexiglass crystal. It's 13 millimeters thick, but that's not nearly enough, especially with the rounded side of the acrylic and the conical bezel. It's not enough to hang up a dress cuff or a tight sleeve. Now from lug to lug, the watch has a nice 42 millimeter lug to lug span, making it ideal for those with smaller wrists, even down to 13 centimeters, maybe even 12 and a half centimeters in circumference. Those with truly petite forearms will find this watch to be a very agreeable partner. Now of course, the watch features as a Serial number 6.7 million. It's roughly a 1981 timepiece, and it's paired with a contemporary G serial code Rolex bracelet. This is a 78350 with 558 end links. It's actually in excellent condition, as you can see the stretch is quite minimal, considering the age of the watch, and all of the imprints in the clasp internally as well as the external coronet remain in excellent condition with very sharp definition. Now the watch features the classic Rolex oyster case profile, so more cushion than round. Handsome, tapered, it has perfect proportions and perhaps the ultimate combination of case and dial with a beautiful stainless steel case and a rich black dial. Now the lack of a tritium signature at six o'clock suggests that this is a late 90s, early 2000s service style, and the combination of the applied elements as well as the overall condition really set this watch apart from many of the other 30 plus year old Rolexes in its class. It's exceptionally clean. Now inside the case, which features 100 meter water resistance thanks to the twin lock style crown, there is a Rolex perpetual, as they like to say, automatic winding caliber 3035. 27 joules, it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It does feature all of the modern mechanical refinements that you expect of a Rolex caliber. In addition to being automatic winding, it does feature a hacking function, pull the crown, stop the seconds, synchronize to a known accurate reference time, as well as a quick set function for the date. The timepiece also features approximately a 48 hour power reserve, and as a Rolex, it is hale and hearty with a free sprung balance, thus more resistance to shock induced timing variations, and a Breguet overcoil hairspring, so it's more resistant to positionally induced or gravitationally induced timing variations. You can see this Rolex roughly 6.7 million Oyster Perpetual Date Vintage and purchase it on our website.